to encourage us. By the way, another thing that's playing in Trump's favor right now, although it shouldn't, it should play against him, but it, 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 it will play for him, is the fact that homicide rates are spiking in the United States, suddenly, out of nowhere. So for a long, long time, homicide rates have declined dramatically, dramatically. And I mean, I thought it was a joke, but worse than a joke, a horror, that Trump in 2016 could declare that there was uh, carnage in the streets of America. When in 2016, basically violence had dropped by 54%. Violent crime since 1993, 54%. <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Not only do you identify as a Iran supporter, you're really a Iran supporter. So I don't know if that counts. I'm not sure if that's a strike against you. If you're actually what you identify as versus identifying as something that you're not actually of. I don't know. I don't know how that works. We'll have to figure that one out. Um, so I don't know if you know this, but from 1993 until 2018, violent crime in the U.S. cities dropped by 54%, less than half. And the pace of the crime was actually greater in the cities than in the suburbs and rural communities. Right. In 1990, just to give you a sense of the numbers, in 1990, New York City alone had 2,262 murders. Two thousand two hundred and sixty-two murders in one year in New York City. Now, today, this year, you won't have 260, 200, 262 murders in the nation's largest 25 cities combined. Combined. 25 cities. You won't get that number. So even with the spike in violence in the cities right now, it's way, 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 way down from 1993 or 1990. But we've all gotten used to the low crime rates. We've gotten so used to them that Trump can say there's carnage in the streets of America and everybody goes, yeah, when there wasn't, not as compared to history. But we don't know history. We know nothing about history. And it feels like there's a lot of violence in the streets. And yet, here we are this year, crime is, not violent crime, murders. All other forms of crime are down. Burglaries, rapes, uh, assault, all of those are down, except for murder. That's up. Murder is up. Homicide is up. It's up about 24% so far, which is a lot, in the top 50 largest cities. So all 50 of the largest cities have had 3,612 murders, and that's up 24% from last year. That's a lot. Summers, murders go up always. But again, this year, the summer has been particularly deadly in the 50 largest cities in the United States. By the way, uh, a lot of people say, oh, this is those uh, Democratic mayors. It's not just in Democratic cities. It's in Republican cities too. Uh, it's in places, in cities like um, that, uh, uh, let me just find this, a uh, city like Fort Worth, which has uh, o o almost 30, 35% increase in homicides. That's, you got a Republican there. Houston is up over 25. I'm not sure who the mayor of Houston is. Um, Jacksonville, which is a Republican city. Charlotte, I'm not sure if Charlotte is Democratic or Republican. Uh, but there's a number of Republican cities that have an increase in violence. This is not uh, an issue of Democratic cities at all. Two independents. We've actually got mayors who are independent. San Antonio and San Diego are both cities that have independents. Uh, both of them have seen an increase in murders. This is not about Democrats or Republicans. This is about murder rates going up across. I think it's a, it's a, to a large extent, a consequence of covid and a large extent of shutting people at home and shutting down schools and shutting down workplaces and people unemployed and, and people just being miserable and, and not seeing any kind of future. 
Chicago is really bad. Chicago, uh, in terms of percentage increases, Chicago has the second highest in the United States so far this year. It's actually increased by more than 50%. Still nowhere near the rates it was in the 1990s, by the way. Austin, Texas has seen the homicide rate grow, grow by 64%. 64%. Now, it started from a very low number, where Chicago's number is very large. So you don't hear m much about Austin. But still, it's pretty alarming that Austin, Texas uh, would, would have such high. But again, Fort Worth, uh, other places. The murders are not happening in the center of the city. They're happening in the suburbs. They're happening in the, um, the uh, low-income areas, mostly black and Latino communities, especially being hit hard. It's mostly gang violence. It's mostly drug-related. Fighting over drug turf goes back to my, the show I did on, on, um, on uh, the war on drugs and the horror, horror of the war on drugs. By the way, if you're in Australia, I see Australia, you can do, you, you can do Super Chat. Um, although I've had Super Chat from, uh, from Australia, but maybe you can go to um, paypal.me slash Iran Brook and, and do it there. Uh, make a one-time payment there, or you can go to youronbookshow.com slash support and make a monthly contribution there, which is, which is the ideal. Um, let's see. So uh, this increase in violence is definitely going to play in Trump's favor. I mean, a large part of how Trump, thank you, Jeff, a, lo a large part of how Trump won last time was creating this sense of, um, you know, people being scared. People being scared. Fear. Fear was a big driver. Carnage in the streets of America was a big driver. And now he can say it again. Now, the question you should all ask is, well, you've been president for four years. How, might, how come there's still carnage? You promised to end the carnage. But people don't ask questions. People don't think. So, by the way, big cities run by Republicans that have seen double-digit rates, increases in crime. We're talking about homicides. Miami, San Diego, Omaha. Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Jacksonville. All, thank you, uh, Justin, all cities in, um, all cities that are uh, run by Republicans and have still seen double-digit increases in crime rates. So it's not, again, not a Democratic versus the independent cities were not San Diego. It's San Antonio and Las Vegas. They are, they have, um, Mayors who are uh, mayors who are what? Independents, not Republicans or Democrats. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a, click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals. Uh, and, uh, and show your support for all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you, even if you just come here to troll, 
or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.